Every time an American opens TikTok, each of them might be handing over personal information like names, email addresses, even physical location. It all forms a vast database on Americans inside a Chinese-owned company. And that has made TikTok the latest front in a deepening war of words with China. The White House saying it needs to curb foreign adversaries' access to Americans' data. While China's foreign minister criticized the world's number one superpower for being afraid of a mobile phone application that young people like so much. I'm 18. We're all 18. Like, let me share my information with China if I want to. Like, I literally could care less. Federal employees have 30 days to delete TikTok off all government devices. The House Foreign Affairs Committee is poised to give President Biden authority to essentially outlaw it for all Americans. Already, 41 states have some sort of ban in place or under consideration. The ACLU says a ban would violate the First Amendment rights of millions of Americans. Experts say that, in fact, a national ban has little precedent here in the U.S., but it's common in China. China typically bans big tech and social media companies uh, from their citizens being able to access them, ostensibly for some of the same privacy concerns and reasons. Last year, a TikTok executive addressed concerns about personal data. Under no circumstances would we give that data to China. In a statement, TikTok calls talk of a ban political theater and urged lawmakers not to censor millions of Americans. But a rare bipartisan coalition is nonetheless threatening to ban one of the most popular apps in the world. Jake Ward, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top. <clears throat> All right, Shalom. Shalom to the elect of Yahshar Allah. And Shalom to the other men, women, and children of our nation who Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is going to have mercy upon them. Shalom to all of you. Shema Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah Hayenawa, Yahweh, Achud, Barakatha, Yahweh, Barakatha, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha HaKwadash, Ko Holoyim La, Abanawa, Allah Hayenawa, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Hakodas. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim Wahakwa, which will be your brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. All right, Abaratza, this lesson. Is edifying, plain upon the tables, and straight to the point. All right, today's lesson is pretty much going into a famine of having the word. All right, you saw in that video, all right, you you heard, right? Uh, the government wants to ban TikTok, TikTok, and soon, um, you no know, social media in general, the internet, all, right, all these apps, platforms where you can pretty much uh, use your voice. Right, to to use what they call it, um, the uh, free speech, right? The free speech shit, right? To be taken away. All right, so Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, and you know any any, any platforms, all right, where you can execute free speech, so called free speech app, right? It's going to be banned, taken away from the people, really the profits. Started with the prophets, the whistleblowers, okay, and etc. Um, so the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter five, verse seven, and in the, in the KJV, make no tarian, make no tarian, to turn to the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and put not off. From day to day, right? Don't postpone. For suddenly shall the wrath, for suddenly, without warning, out of the blue, all right, out of nowhere, out of a something, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai come forth, and in thy security. Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right, so let's uh, 
get the new Vervar standard version for that. All right. So the new revived standing version for Ciroc 5 and 7. Do not delay to turn back to the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So don't delay to repent to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And do not postpone it from day to day. Don't procrastinate. Don't say you want to you wanna get right today, but you don't. You say you want to get right later on. When you when you feel ready, apparently, do not delay to turn back to the Lord, and do not postpone it from day to day, for suddenly, the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, will come forth, and at the time of punishment, you will perish. All right, so don't don't wait until. Don't wait until another time to repent. Okay? Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next week. Okay? Because tomorrow's not promised. Okay? A minute from now is not promised. An hour from now is not promised. A few hours from now is not promised. Okay? The day of the Lord is like an onto the onto a, a thief in the night. It's gonna catch you slipping. Okay? All right, so in other words, don't wait too long. All right, once you find out you are a Hebrew Israelite, you were told you were told the true names of our power, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, repent, get right before it's too late. All right, so let's, uh, let's get this other one. All right, so the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11 through 13 in the KJV. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So, in this context here, yeah, you know, yes, there's going to be an actual famine among the people, an like actual starvation, hunger. Right, but in this context, it's talking about um, a shortage on hearing the words of the Lord. Okay, because right now you can just get on the internet to YouTube and any other similar platforms and just have a great abundance of being able to hear the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But soon there's going to be a famine on it. You ain't gonna be able to come across these uh. These men who's pushing out the words of Yahweh Bashmi Hoshah is pushing out the gospel. Um, let's see, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Hoshah and shall not find it. And that day shall the fair virgins, right, the young women, young girls, and young men faint for thirst. Faint for thirst of what? For the Lord's word, right? There was a crying for wine in the streets, right? Just paraphrasing. All right, so the times are going to come when uh, pretty much, you know, everyone that's starting with two-thirds of our nation uh, who's been taking the words of Yahweh Bashmi Hoshai for granted are going to realize that, uh, like for an example, like let's say, let's say for an example, the internet goes out, right? Or let's say the internet is still on, but for some reason, you, like the people, cannot come across any of the prophets' platforms. Let us say, for example, you won't be able to, you, you're not, you're going to go through YouTube, one page, second page, third page, fourth page, just page after page after page, and you're not going to find out one GMS account up there. Not one of the camps that also teach the same doctrine that GMS push out, okay? We ain't going to be able to find them on Instagram, Facebook, social media, nowhere on the internet. 
Okay, even to the point where you ain't gonna be able to find the prophets on the highways and byways out in public. Right, when it says in verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north and even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh, and shall not find it. People are going to be going through different platforms to, to seek the word, to look for the men of Yahweh, and they're not going to find none of them. They're going to go out to the highways and byways, the hedges, the plazas, places where the people remember seeing these men teaching that, but not going to find them there either. Okay? All right, that's how desperate people are going to get. Once all hell break loose. Right? So for an example, right? The book of Isaiah chapter 24 verse 10 to 13. KJV. The city of confusion is broken down. The city of confusion. But Baal. Meaning confusion. Which is Babylon. Which would make what? America. America is Babylon the Great. But Baal. Right? Which is Babylon. Means a uh, confusion. The city of confusion is broken down. America is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Verse 11. There is a crying for wine in the streets. Right? They shall run two roads, seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. And that day shall the fair virgins and young men thirst, may faint for thirst. All right? For this word. All right, it's a crying for wine in the streets. All right, there's a crying. There is a crying for wine in the streets. There's a crying, there's, there's you know, people crying for answers. They're seeking for answers. All joy is darkening. The mirth of the land is gone. Right, you know, the majority of people here in America is in a house of feasting, in the spirit of mirth. Very cheerful, jolly. Okay? But real soon that's going to change. All joy is going to be darkened. People are going to be catching so much hell. There's going to be so much going on out here. People are going to be crying for wine in the streets. People are going to be crying for answers. They're going to want to know what's going on. What's happening. Um, they're going to be going uh, to and fro. Seeking for the word of the Lord. Yahweh Seeking for the prophets, the men. Who they took for granted. Who they've been scoffing at. All right. The city, the the in the city, is left desolation, and the gate is smiting with destruction. It's going to be looking like a war zone out here. It's going to be looking real bad. Cities are desolate from destruction, wars, fires, and etc. Uproars of the people, sedition among men, race wars, riot wars, civil war, World War Three. You name it. It's going to be looking. It's going to be looking bad out here. All right. That famine of words right around the corner. All right. Uh, let's get Amos 5 and 13. So when that famine of word hits, right, the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 13, therefore the prudent, right, the wise shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. So when all hell break loose, the persecution is finally among us, um, that great insurrection, right? That great violent uprising against those that 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 fears the Lord Yahweh Shai. These prophets, these men, are going to be silenced in those days. They're not going to be out there in the house and bowels anymore, trying to rebuke you two thirds, trying to give you warning. Okay, because those times are very evil. All right, when that times come, the elect, the prophets are going to be you know moving with wisdom, with that wisdom and knowledge. That's going to keep them stable in that time. Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. All right. So when all hell break loose, you best believe, man, that the, the prudence is going, to, is going to keep silence in that time. Okay. Because the, the, the times are evil. Jacob's trouble. All hell breaking loose. Persecution. All right. And then when, the, when those times come, the famine of hearing a word. People are crying for wine in the streets. When the prudent, right, the prophets, the teachers, the elect are, are silenced because the days are evil, right? First Samuel 3 and 1. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord Yahweh before Eli. And the word 
of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai was precious in those days. There was no open vision. So when all hell break loose, um, the famine of hearing this word is finally among the people. All hell broke loose. People are going to be crying for wine in the streets. The prudence, the prudence is going to be silenced in those days. And that's when people who has taken this word, this wise counsel for granted, is going to regret it. Because in the times we're coming into, the words of the Lord are going to be very, very precious. Because without this wisdom and knowledge and the, and the understanding, you won't be stable in those times we're coming into. All right. Real soon, the words of Yahweh Shai that's being taken for granted right now is going to be so precious in the times we're coming into. All right. To the elect, the words are precious, but to everyone else is not. That's why when uh when society crashes, those who took the words of Yahweh Shmuel Shai for granted are going to be the ones regretting it. Okay. Um. Then got like one more. And we'll close out. The book of Psalms, chapter 74, verse 9. We see not our signs. There is there is no more any prophet. Neither is there among us any that knoweth how long. Alright, let's get that NOT version. I think the NOT version. The NOT is pretty good. Let me get that right quick. Uh, let's try NLT. All right. Yeah. All right. So the NLT for the book of Psalm, chapter 74, verse 9. We no longer see your miraculous signs. All the prophets are gone. And no one can tell us when it will end. So when there's a crying for wine in the streets, people are going to and fro to seek for answers, to seek for the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? The prophets, the prophets are not up there to keep you update on what's going on around the world and what to look out for in the near future. Possible signs, possible like like prophecies that that's, that's going to come to pass in the future. Right? Uh, they're going to realize, like, damn, we fucked up. All right? All the prophets are gone. The prophets are not out there on the highways and byways out in public warning you anymore. They're no longer found on the internet as well. There's no prophets that, that can that can warn you. When all hell breaking loose, they're not going to be able to come across prophets to let them know how much longer. Because the prophets don't even know how much long we have of this. All we can tell you through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shmuel Shai is, okay, according to what's going on right now, these are the scriptures that comes through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. This precept for this event, this scripture for that. So it looks like this is what to expect next, and etc. Right? There's not going to be no prophets, no teachers out there to rebuke you, to give you instructions on righteousness, to give you uh. Warning on what to possibly look out for next. Okay, because it's going to be a famine of hearing this word. This word is still going to be available, but it won't be available on the internet. You will have to come across one of the actual prophets, one of the actual teachers of Yahweh Bashmi Oshai, one of the elect. All right. So our Ross is out, the lesson was edifying, plain upon the table, straight to the point. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, while he may be found. He is found through his men that's pushing out this word, this gospel, this good news, blowing that trumpet. Get this word while you can because we don't know how much longer we have, but it, does, it definitely does not feel much longer. So I'll be this out the lesson is edifying. I'm going to close out. By giving the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechach HaKodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. Much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring in the works. 
Shalom to you believers. To the Aki and Wa'akwa, which will be your brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to the truth. DTA, Abad Babal Soon. Kwam Yashallah.